here with the coach of uh, Cyril gone, Fernand Lopez. And Fernand, it might be difficult because Cyril's standing right off camera, but how is he uh, adjusting to the fight week? How is he reacting to a, a big fight this weekend? Um, always smiling. Uh, his best coach, his best coach is uh, a happy fighter. He's a dangerous fighter. So we're in the fight week, and uh, every night we try to uh, re duplicate a fight. I mean, like, um, practice what will be on Saturday night, what, what exactly we're going to do there, and um, that's it. And uh, the more the fight is getting close, and the more he's kind of mean when uh, when it comes to strike and uh, and hit me on the path. So uh, I, I really feel the, the 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 intensity going up. I really feel like we're going. Up and up and up every day because every day is kind of mean. Like you, you really think that even you won't protect me. There's something behind the, every punch that he throw, every kick that he throw is something that he want. He, he really want to send a message there. I can still remember I talked to you right after this fight was made, and uh, it, what you said st stuck with me. He said, "This is the type of challenge that we like." We need to find out how to finish this guy without getting caught by that big bomb that he possesses. What was it like training for for Derek Lewis and preparing for that big bomb? Uh, that was pretty easy in the way that we, we just had to swamp the, the, the sparring partner at the gym. We, we we went back from the from the fall camp camp with taller guys and we just had the, the shorter guy a little bit shorter with a. Uh, heavy hands and very good skill on boxing, and they were trying just to take his head off. And uh, and at that point, that, that was the thing to do to play with that situation, try to to keep going a little bit, uh, a little bit on pressure on him, and taking that risk a little bit, taking that chance a little bit more, just a little bit more, so we can make sure that he don't get caught with the if bomb, because no matter where you stand in the Temporality in, with the fight. If that bomb comes, then you you get in trouble. So we're playing with that every time. I mean, like he's kind of teaching the the life <laughs> every day in training session in Paris. Now it's a, a little bit more cool because we're in the fight. We we don't want him to get hurt. So Michael Grugich, who is the sparring partner, the main guy who come here with him. <laughs> Can you stop, please? I mean, like, can you can you stop? Can you, can you stop, please? <laughs> okay. This is my job now. So okay, okay. I'm I'm sorry, guys. This is serious, again. So yeah. One more thing about Derek, though, is how, how do you think he lands it? How does he land that that big right hand? Does he? Say because because it's uh, this is the one thing that people the misunderstand on, on, on uh, Derek Lewis. The really thing is a big guy with a big bombs. That, that's not the case. Derek Lewis is one of the smarter guys in the division. Like, to be honest with you, the fight IQ of, the fight IQ of Derek Lewis, I think is one of the fight IQ the most underrated that I ever had in my life. Because there's no one who can play opossum uh, like you can uh, play the possum like him, like just play like it's done. Sometime in the the the, the pace that he's doing, he push the pace a little bit and then let the pace go down and make you feel comfortable, make you think that you have him, make you think that he's, he's hurt. And then when you start to feel like okay, I, I can just be comfortable, just finish him, then you get caught. And and uh, he's doing that over and over and over. Don't think that people that fought him before they didn't know that he can knock them down. They knew that, but they still fought in traps uh, in the in the traps. So I, I really think that uh, um, this time is a good challenge. It's the type of challenge that we're looking for because can we be there less than 25 minutes? Pushing the pace and not get lazy at some point, not get not get comfortable. That's what I, I'm looking for. Make this fight be. This fight is not a, about the physical uh, fight. It's not about the athletic fight. It's about the brain fight. Can you be focused all the time? That's the problem. Last thing for you: uh, Will you feel like you have a UFC champion on Saturday, or do you have to win the, the belt from Francis in order to feel like you got a champion in your stable? Uh, yeah, the, there's only one champion right now. That will be uh, Francis Cano.
I mean, for now, if till Cyril Gann beat Francis Gano, we can feel like this is a champ. This is a big achievement, the interim belt. I mean, it's a ticket that you have to line up and to become a champ. And we really embrace that. I mean, I, I, I'm proud of that. If coming from a small gym in France, the last country to have the the, the MMA legalized and have two heavyweights, champ versus champ at some point, no matter what happened, I'm already proud of that. The French people are already proud of that. But the only one champ and the spirit is still Francis Gano. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.